might look cute and fuzzy, but those leading the B-Tech industry mean business, and they are raising millions in startup funding. You'd think the $2.4 billion honey market would have enough buzz to keep people interested, but the pollination trade, where farmers rent hives to pollinate their crops, is also soaring. Bee Hero has a plan to save our bees and increase crop yields using data and machine learning. Omer, how does your system save our bees? Many people do not know, but bees are actually responsible to pollinate 70%, 75% of the crops out there. And part of the phenomenon that we've seen in the last 10, maybe 12 years called colony collapse disorder is a combination of different stressors that eventually lead to a specific issue that caused the colony collapse. It could be high level of mites, starvation situation, queen failure, viral disease, bacterial disease, and so on. And part of our technology is early detecting and predicting those issues that we later on develop to colony collapse. And by early detection and prediction, we can actually avoid the loss. And where does data and machine learning enter this equation in predicting colony health and helping improve colony health? When we first started, we asked the same question as you're asking now, and we said, okay, we, we, we wanna look at data. And we started to connect with you know, big players in different industries that address B problem and trying to get their data to look at it. And we've seen that there are only dozen of hives being monitored in each project. And this doesn't give you a really opportunity, a big data set to get indications of specific patterns. So we started to actually build our own data set collecting data from inside the hive. In the beginning, you know, it was a big question. Can actually data help to identify what's happening? And this is where we started by collecting tons of data. The, da the, the machine learning and the data analytics uh, process comes only once you uh, enable to establish quite significant amount of data and suddenly you start to identify those patterns. Experts that are in the bee field are constantly trying to figure out what's gonna happen next with a colony. And you're bringing an IoT sensor into the mix. What does the sensor gather in terms of data? We have a, a small sensor that gets into the bee colony, just sticks on the middle frame of the colony and we collect different kinds of parameters. We collect the temperature, the humidity, the sound, the vibration, light, and many more from inside the hive. And then we also aggregate it with environmental parameter, like what kind of crop is there out? What's the density? What varieties? What's the location? What's the microclimate? Different things that allows us to better predict the expected behavior of the bees and later on analyze if they, the predicted behavior is similar to what we actually see from inside the hive. And this allows us to understand what's happening. Is there a way to figure out where the bees are gonna go? I mean, how much coverage you get of a field? Is that something that can be predicted? The coverage can be predicted. So part of the things that we collect from inside the hives and we analyze is the activity level and we can actually translate it to foraging trips and every bee statistically can visit X number of flowers a trip. So uh, I would say that on the single bee level, you might have some sort of variance, but if you look at it from a big number perspective, you can get good indications about the coverage. It's very hard to determine where the bees are actually going, but you can get a good indication about the radius. When you bring this to farmers and to bee colony professionals, what's the revenue model for you? So we tried to look at the entire industry and the entire implication of colony collapse and not focus only on the challenge of beekeepers, which is quite significant in right. the last 10 or 12 years. So we, we are building an holistic solution that allows on one hand to beekeepers to build a better business and, and, and operate in a more efficient way, but also taking it to the pollination side. And Bee Hero today provides precision pollination as a service and we charge by acre per acre. To the farmer. To the farmer. What's the cost benefit on that charge to farmers? Eventually, it's a question of you know what the farmer needs and then what the, bee, the beekeepers can provide. For the farmers, they care about how many flowers being pollinated. They don't really care how it happens as long as they right. get good coverage of flowers. And beekeepers want to make sure that they lose less hives as possible and that their operational costs are not as significant as it is today. Using the technology, we can actually address both needs. And this is what builds this win-win model. What is your success rate so far of being able to save a colony? Yeah, so I, I think we're starting to see how data-driven approach can help beekeepers, and it's an ongoing challenge because it's not only a question of you know, the technology being able to identify, it's also tying uh, an old-fashioned industry to work with 
you know, different tools. And we've seen last year, we've seen 25% mortality rates uh, compared to the 40% that the industry has seen. So we start to see, you know, the impact, but there's a lot more to do.